two-time Shaft and a Fool MVP, JaVale McGee. Oh, this is not a mistake. Do something with it. <laughs> oh, he tried to cut Man. it. And then... uh, your biggest fan. I don't know, it's more like a, uh, more like a bully, I guess. JaVale McGee was one of NBA's biggest jokes until he signed with the Warriors. McGee got into the league as an uber-athletic 7-footer with a 7 feet 6 inches wingspan. He was drafted 18th overall by the Washington Wizards back in 2008. In his early years, McGee showed flashes and was actually a quality player for the teams he played for. But what caught people's attention are his boneheaded plays on the court. Shaquille O'Neal took great pleasure in showing clips of McGee on Shaq in a fool. For years, McGee became a regular target of the show, and because of that, the laughing stock of the NBA. Tragic Bronson! No, that was a good one out. Check out the oh, no. <laughs> no look behind the head. McGee was actually named Shaq in a fool MVP two different times for his blooper-filled highlights. However, things started to change when McGee decided to sign with the Warriors. Going to Golden State was definitely uh, a blessing for me. Uh, it was life-changing. The culture in Golden State transformed him into a different player. McGee worked hard to shed that Shaq in a fool label. He did the role assigned to him and became a valuable part of the team. Well, JaVale has been uh, fantastic uh, for us. You know, as, a, as a player, as a teammate, a fantastic guy. Um, He's funny, he's fun to be around, he does his job, he's a total pro. The entire Warriors also had his back when he was mocked for some of his slip-ups during games. McGee never had that kind of support before. So he began to focus more on his game and gained a lot of confidence in the court. Through his two years in Golden State, he shot 70% from the floor in the playoffs and finals. Starting 10 postseason games and winning back-to-back -back championships. McGee now have three NBA titles to his name, and also an Olympic gold medal just like his mom. And finally, far from being a laughing stock, he once was.